Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with the FX Market Insight for Tuesday, the 25th of May. All right, now as you come into the Asian session on Tuesday, it's the you know Monday afternoon, evening in North America, or in New York, I should say. Um, so just having a look at what's going on, there's, there's not a lot happening in the currencies, right? We've got this, the market poised, waiting for this last piece of the puzzle. Now, the, the good news is the Fed has given us some sort of direction and inkling uh, or inclination as to what they're actually going to be doing should certain things happen, right? If inflation goes up, keeps going up, they may have to be nimble with uh, policy and start making adjustments. Now, outside of that, we are waiting. There's no uh, substantial economic data, probably till Wednesday. So in the meantime, you, you get the news services, right? They just need to keep posting fresh information, fresh stuff to keep people interested. So you'll find a lot of the... Um, the news here at the moment is just around the euphoria around Bitcoin, obviously falling down to 30,000 the other day, it's come back a bit. So we're really, you're in a, like, I was going to say the market's in a bit of a juxtaposition with regards to what's going on because we are waiting, but there are things happening, but they're not exactly relevant to, to what we're doing, right? So when you come back to look at the markets right now and you're trying to ascertain whether, you know, is the market, you know, is it, is it looking good? Is it looking bad? Well, to me, it's looking indifferent. If anything, equity markets had a uh, nice day Monday, right? A little bit of a bounce. Um, is that a dead duck bounce? Well, I don't know, but I tell you what, look at that bit of a risk on profile. Um, you know, US equities rally, the risk pairs go up, right? Aussie, Kiwi, CAD in particular. Um, and then the dollar uh, basically falls. And this, this is what's happened. So you see this profile, you see it lined up. When equities go at least over 1%, you start to see this come into play. So what we saw on Monday with that rally in the US equities is a, it picked up a few of the dollar block, a few of these pairs up off the floor. And so that just took a little bit of pressure off the downside for the moment. That is a really good thing. You do not want the currencies going anywhere without the fundamental driver or knowing what that is because if they start to move and you don't know what's pushing things around well it's pretty hard to get into the trade the good thing is these things are just reloading so the dollar it's just drifted a little bit lower if anything a bit sideways dollar swiss um euro dollar cad once again it's doing its own thing but just drifting a little bit lower on the day overall so where the markets this is just sort of like squaring up balancing out the uh, portfolios ahead of, you know, the coming up, the coming data this week. So we got a long-term resistance level here on Euro. Definitely want to keep an eye on that. You know, if we get some bearish dollar news or bearish dollar data, then we're set for a move higher. And that level on uh, Euro is pretty solid. So if it breaks, it should open up potential 150 points on the top side. At the same time, we've got um, short-term levels here across the board, Aussie, Kiwi, as it is, you see these levels. Let me just clear the screen there for a second. This is what we're sort of dealing with, right? And and understanding the market and how it's balanced. I've already adjusted the Kiwi one there. Um, this is, this level here, this is like yesterday, right? You're looking at the markets going, oh, it looks like it's breaking down. Do I get in? Well, no, because we don't have the initial momentum to kick it into gear and, and get the whole market moving the same way. Sure, there's a few stops triggered. Traders are sort of getting in here and there, but not the whole market. Trade with the market, not against it, right? So we're waiting for the fundamental drivers to give us direction and momentum. We've got entry levels. We just need to wait, right? That's the way the whole the whole structure of the market works. So to me, the dollar isn't over yet, but I tell you what, it's languishing, right? So prepare yourself, scenario analysis, both sides of the market as to what could potentially happen. And that's how you're going to stay ahead of things. But at the moment, not much to sort of report back there. If you have a look at the volatility index, it's drifted back under 20, which tells you the market's not exactly worried about anything at the moment. No major volatility coming up. US, US Treasuries, a little bit lower, long data treas. Uh, so that, you know, if anything, it takes a little bit of a sting out of the, the strength of the dollar. And we're now sort of basically at this point watching the equities keeping on US equity futures for, for where they're going to open up could give us a bit of a risk on risk off profile for the Asian session, but don't expect a hell of a lot because when now the macros are coming into play, it's time to start focusing on this. You've got 
This is a really uh, good one to be looking for today. I mean, you got the GDP numbers there out of Germany, but the IFO business numbers, right? And uh, they are they could give us a really nice look at the euro. Don't forget, going back a couple of months, the um, that lockdown wave three, the probably the data is just probably coming out now. So that could give us a bit of a lead into what euro is going to be doing uh, to start the week, right? And it's really like not until Wednesday that we start to get US numbers or good big US numbers. So the um, actually looking at that, we do have the US consumer confidence numbers coming out. So keep an eye on that. So you combine the Euro data with the US data, you know, Euro data is weak, dollar strong, then we get a nice clean move on the downside in Euro. And that's what you need to be looking at. All right, guys, until then, it's um, just follow the trail of the markets. As I said, equities, treasuries at this point, I don't think are a major factor. So look at the equity markets for the dollar direction. All right. Have a good one, guys. Cheerio.